I want to give you a little bit of a starter on this exercise um, by uh, showing you how it goes and also by pointing you towards some of the significant things to definitely pay attention to. Um, so we'll start on the page where the, um, where the, the exercise is explained. Um, how this is going to work is that you're going to take a starter file, a file that's pretty much like the file that you found on the web, um, just cleaned up a little bit, and you're going to progressively turn it into an XSL file. So um, I'll show you how that works, and I'll get you started doing that in a moment. But I want to um, uh, I want to bring your attention to some of the things that you should think about, some of the things that you should consider um, before starting this exercise, and maybe coming back to. First of all, um, uh, all of these items here. When I say in studying this file, note. These are all important things. You should make sure that you go through this list at some point in time and, and do what it says to do or ignore what it says to ignore or um, pay attention what it says to pay attention to. So these are all things that I've found over, over the course of time are important for you to know and understand in order to get this done. Okay, so here's the, here's the, um, uh, here's the basic process. We're going to create a new XSL file, just a brand new XSL file. Um, we're going to create a root template, the one that runs first, the one with that forward slash in it. We're going to dump the entire contents of the starter file into it and then run it. And at that point, we should just reproduce the starter file because we haven't put any XSL commands in there at all to bring uh, information in from the instance. Then one piece at a time, we're going to start to replace the stuff in the, in the starter file with commands that will bring the equivalent stuff in from the XML instance file. In the end, all we'll have left of the original starter file is the HTML framework, the HTML backbone of the file, and all the actual content in that file will be drawn in from the instance. Okay, so another thing to pay attention to, all the stuff that says make sure you, um, these are all good things to really, again, pay lots of attention to and, um, uh, and make sure you do because each one of these things is something that people have... Um, have gotten points off for in their evaluations in the past, and I want to make sure that you um, uh, you know to do that. And pay also specific attention to this exact command. Put this command exactly as I show it here into your um, into your uh, transform right above the style sheet tag, and that will um, that will allow your um, that will allow your your transformed file to be opened and parsed as an XML file. And that's what I need to do in order to be able to um, evaluate it. Okay, well, let's get started. Over here inside of um, Oxygen, I have uh, the, a final, my version of the final um, Simple BC Resort file. And also I have open, I've, uh, and, and you would have downloaded this from the website. Um, I've downloaded it from, I, well, I already had it on my hard drive, obviously. Okay, so this is the, uh, this is the starter file. And we're going to progressively turn this starter file into a transform. And so before I do that, I want to take a look around. And I can look around in this starter file in exactly the same way that I would look around in any, um, in any XML file. And that is by closing it all up. So I'm going to close it up and look at how it works. Each of these divs, if you're not familiar with the idea of a div, each of these divs really just creates a, um, a container into which um, information is put. And the style sheet, which we don't have to worry about at all in this example, the style sheet will take care of formatting that area in a particular way. So here's the header, and that will be formatted in a particular way. Here's the content. Here's the sidebar. What goes in the sidebar? The ads. OK, and also, by the way, I don't have complete ads in here. I have a lot of the text greeked out. I want to make it as simple as possible so that you can see exactly what to do here. So we're going to leave behind all of this structure. This structure, um, except for maybe some of this stuff down here, uh, this structure is part of the backbone. This is part of the, the, the way that the file, that the output file is going to be formatted. But things like, for example, uh, uh, not that, because it says not to do that. Ski, things like this. Oh, that says not to do that, sorry. Things like this. Um, ski and snowboard areas in British Columbia and the words British Columbia and Whistler Blackcomb Mountain and the link here to Whistler Blackcomb that's all particular stuff that has to be um, uh, that has to be drawn in from the instance rather than be 
being left behind. So here's an example of some of the stuff that we're going to draw in from the instance. Okay, now looking at our instance, we can, in a way, we can kind of squint and see this as the uh, as the web page without any of the surrounding without any of the surrounding formatting, right? So here's all the resorts. You know those resorts are all going to be formatted in a particular way. Here's all the ads, and we're going to format those in a particular way. These resorts are destined for this thing that says content, right? This div that says content over and over again inside this div. The ads are destined for the one that says sidebar, uh, and all those ads are going to go into the sidebar. Okay, so let's get started. First thing to do, create a blank new Excel 1.0 style sheet. There we go, brand new, brand spanking new style sheet. And I'm going to um, save that. Uh, in fact, yeah, let me save that. And I'm just going to put it in my temp directory so that um, I don't mistake it for something else later on. On my C drive in the temp directory, there we go. And I'm going to call it, um, this one is called Simple BC Resort. .xsl. Okay, and then I'm going to go save these in the same place. I'm going to put all of my files in the same directory so that um, I'm sure that uh, they'll all connect right. So let's put that one down here as well in the temp directory and call it simple BC resort final. And then this one, ah, the starter file, I don't really need to do that because I'm not going to, it's not going to um, persist. Really, in the end, we're just going to have the instance and the schema. Now, I have a schema I started we know that we better put in the XSL, um, if I can spell it right, template with the match equals forward slash. Right? That's always the way we start our templates. Okay, so let me let me just get everything set up from this place. I'm going to put in the words, this is a test. Very simple transform right now, right? It doesn't do anything except, except start out and then um, print out the words, this is a test. Not taking anything from the, uh, the 